Okay, so we've got the um, layout set out in the standard Final Cut Pro uh, way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this up slightly so that we, um, we've got our layout much more suitable for color correction. And actually, Final Cut has got, if we, sorry, we go to Window Arrange, Final Cut has got a special color correction preset here. And what we're going to do is we're going to build on this and actually tweak it a little bit more so it's even more suitable for, for the job. But I think before we get to that, what I'd like to do is actually look at some of the new tools that, uh, that have just shown up for us here. And they're contained within our tool bench. So this is actually a brand new window that's, that's just popped up. And it's going to contain our video scopes and our frame viewer. And both of these things you, can, you, you just can't live without if you're doing any sort of color correction at all. So if we take a look at the scopes here, um, this is made up of four different uh, different tools. We've got the vector scope, the histogram, the waveform monitor, and the RGB parade. I'm going to concentrate on just a, a couple of these here. Um, the first one I think I'll look at is the waveform monitor. So if I come up to my layout, come to waveform here, and what I'm, I'm going to do just for the sake of the webinar here is actually just turn this all the way up so that we can see this quite a lot. So uh, it's going to be a lot more visible for you here. Now, what the waveform monitor is showing us is it's showing us the uh, luminance levels, uh, our brightness levels within our particular frame. And this is it's actually a very useful way of, uh, of looking at an image because what happens is the waveform tracks from left to right and then shows us all of the um, uh, the different values in that image on a scale of zero to a hundred. So if we have a look at the really bright stuff that's in our, our first clip here, like this uh, lamp here, this lamp here, all of our windows, all of these are super, super bright. So we can easily see these just here on our sort of consistent, uh, which is working consistently with, um, with what our video is. So we look at this big lamp here, it's about a third of the way through the picture. And we can see this about a third of the way through the picture here. We've got this really, really bright area here. Uh, and in the same way, if we look at some of the black areas here, just in this area, we can see those black points right here. Let's, let's look at another image, which is going to simplify this a little bit more. Let's take a look at this particular shot. So we can see that we've got our red background here, which is going from, you know, sort of darker red to brighter red, back to darker again. And you can see that really clearly in the waveform monitor. And then in our, uh, just to the, to the right of center of the shot, we have this big sort of explosion of different uh, uh, brightness levels. And that's going to be her clothes here and her skin and the, uh, the big dark ones down at the bottom here. These are going to be the trousers and the, uh, the, the sort of shawl and her, uh, and her hair. So we can use this to identify areas which is uh, either of really, really low contrast. Let's find one of those. So really low contrast here or areas which are um, actually too bright or uh, like our first shot here. So we've got places which are too bright and are actually clipping over here. So we'll work through that as the, uh, as the webinar goes along. The other one that I'm going to look at is the vector scope. And the vector scope is, is basically it's the, uh, the cousin of the waveform monitor. So instead of showing the brightness values, what we're actually looking at here are the color values. And this is probably the, the number one tool that you can use to uh, diagnose uh, color cast problems and to uh, help with uh, with color matching. 